What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp layout tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to talk about achieving different line weights um, in your plans and layout. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to open up my model. And uh, so basically this, this is the model that I've been working with from the beginning. It's probably the world's ugliest house, but um, it's kind of set up. Um, if you watch the first two videos, it's kind of set up with all my layers and uh, all my groups and everything kind of set up the way I want it to be. So it's set up where I can turn the roof on and off, I can turn the floor on and off. Um, all these different parts and pieces, I can turn them on and off. So everything's kind of set up from an organization standpoint so that I can come in here and I can create what I want to create. Um, so if you're not clear on how that organization works, you may want to go back and watch the uh, first and second layout videos that I created. Um, so this is just going to kind of assume that uh, you have kind of an idea of how the model needs to be organized at this point. It's also got a few different scenes, including a working scene, a floor plan scene, and some elevations. All right, so if you'll remember, what we have right now is we have basically a version of our building that has a section cut through it that's kind of cutting through um, with the perspective turned off in order to create our floor plan that we can send to layout. So, and you can see how when I click on that, it takes me straight to this viewport. Um, so that's kind of set up and ready to go. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to set this up to create a couple different line weights. And so in order to do this, we're kind of going to want to plan what we're going to want to have on each layer. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I want to have a plan where my walls are going to be a heavier line weight than my doors and windows. And so what we're going to do in order to do that is we're going to create two new scenes. So you can either come up here and create a couple new scenes or you can come uh, down to your actual scenes section of your um, tray over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a new scene on the end and I'm just going to call it something like, um, in this case since I'm using it to display different line weights, I'm probably going to call it LW underscore um, walls underscore dark. So basically what I'm saying is I'm creating a line weight view with the walls that's going to have dark line weights. So and then we're going to create a second one which is going to be LW underscore we'll just call it DW for doors and windows and we'll call this light. So basically what that does is that creates these two new scenes and so we're going to set those up so that they're only showing what we want them to show. So in this case, the first thing I'm going to do is for my line white walls dark, I'm going to turn off everything except the walls. So I'm going to turn off all the windows, the door swings, um, the doors, basically everything except for my walls I'm going to turn off. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to update this view. So I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click update. And we're going to take a quick look at our style just to make sure it's kind of showing what we want it to show. So in this case, I want to take a look at this style. And right now it's set to this straight lines view. I'm actually going to change that to a hidden line view. So that's one of the default styles that's in here. So I'm going to come click on default styles in the little drop down and I'm going to find hidden line. And I'm going to click on that. And so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to update this. Um, I'm going to change a couple things real quick. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to turn off model axes. So I don't really want the axes showing up in my plan. So I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to click on this little uh, bluish box over here and then I'm going to uncheck model axes. And I'm going to go ahead and click the refresh button. And so what that, do, what that did is that basically updated this so that the model axes don't show up. And so I'm also going to rename this. So I'm just going to call this, um, we'll call it line weight 3. You know, and you can give it a little abbreviation ahead of time just so, uh, so it's easier to find if you want to. But what I want to note is you'll notice that I'm using a hidden line style now. I'm not coming in here and I'm use I'm not coming in here and using the straight line styles anymore. So you can see how if I come in here and I use the straight line styles, what it does, other than showing my section plane obviously, is it basically takes these lines and it makes them thicker. So it's real easy to come in here and say, okay, here's the one pixel, the two pixel. Um, 
and adjust your line weights that way. But the problem is, as those start getting thicker, you can see how what this does is in your window openings, your, your uh, wall lines here stay thick. So you're not getting that contrast anymore um, between your walls and the kind of holes in here. And so what happens is when you turn your windows on on a lighter line weight, um, these don't these don't show up as the lighter line weight the way that you want. So what we're doing instead is we're using the style we created, which is a hidden line. And then we're using the section cut width to set our line weight. So you see how the section cut width is set to three? Well, if I set that to one, you can see how all my lines get a lot lighter. So, and that's located again in the modeling settings under the edit tab. So you can come in here and you can adjust this to whatever you want. So basically it's giving you a thickness wherever your section cut is cutting through geometry. So since this is cutting through this window right here, it's creating a thicker line right there. So you can use that to create your different line weights. So in this case, I'm going to set that. I like it at three. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And remember, every time you make a change, just make sure you click on this to update that style. So that gives us our wall line weight scene. So now we want to come in here to this other scene, which is our doors and windows. And we want to do the same thing, but we want to create a view that only shows our doors and windows. And we want to give that a lighter section cut. So in order to do that, you're just going to come into your layers and you're going to turn off everything except your doors and windows. So um, I've got all my swings in here. I've got my windows in here. I've got all that different stuff. And then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to select that same line weight three. But then I'm going to create a new version of that. And we'll just call that line weight one. So it kind of did that automatically, which is perfect. And then you can come in here and change your section cut width to one and you can click the update button. So you can see how these are a lot lighter. So now if I click back and forth between the two, oh, I forgot to update that. Make sure you click update when you do this. So we're gonna turn our walls off, our porch, basically everything except our windows. Make sure you come up here, you right click and you click update when you make a change. So, and I forgot to do that on the other one as well. So we'll set this one to the line weight three style, right click and we'll click update. Now when I click back and forth, you can see how I've got a floor plan that's got the darker wall line weights. And then if I click over to this other one, it's got the lighter line weights for my doors and windows. So now we're gonna go over into layout. So, and you could just come up here and click file, send to layout, but I want to open up the file that I've been working from that I created before. And we're gonna close out all of this. I'm gonna go ahead and click this open existing file. And I think the one that I want, we're just gonna open this file up from last week. And I'm gonna go ahead and just close out of this. I'm not really worried about this right now. You can click on this and click update. But in this case, I'm not really super worried about it. So if you remember what I did last week is I came in here and I created some elevations um, on a page. And what I'm gonna do real quick, just to keep this organized, is I'm just gonna name my page elevation. And so remember over here in your tray, this is where you can access your different pages. So I have a floor plan from before, I have an elevation, and I have a cover page. So I'm gonna go ahead and label this floor plan. And it's a good idea to kind of try to keep this organized as you go. Um, that'll just make everything a little easier. Obviously I wasn't doing that, but I don't have a lot of pages, so it's not a big deal. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna delete out this old model and I'm gonna bring in the model that I'm working with right now. So in this case, I'm using this line weights for YouTube file. So I'm just gonna go up to file, insert, and I'm gonna select that model. And you can see how that brings that in. And it's kind of at a weird angle. Um, it just brings it in at kind of the last save SketchUp view. Well, if you remember what we do First of all, I'm gonna go ahead and set my scale. So I'm just gonna click this little drop down so that this is kind of sized the right way. But if you remember, what we wanna do is we wanna use the scenes that we've created in order to um, create the viewports that we want in layout. But the first thing we need to do, because you can see how if I click this drop down, um, it doesn't actually, the scenes don't actually show up because I forgot to save my model. So we're gonna go back into SketchUp and we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna click save. 
So that way these will actually show up when layout looks for them. And then you can just come in here, you can click on this and you can click update model reference. And then that'll just go into SketchUp and it'll re-update your model. So what we're gonna do now is you can see how when we click this drop down, because this is a viewport into our model. So we're it's basically viewing our model. Um, and what we want to do is we want to select one of our scenes. So in this case, we want to select our dark wall scene. So, and then we can kind of come in here and we can adjust everything and make sure once you set your scale that this uh, box for preserve scale on resize is checked. Otherwise, when you resize this, it's going to change your scale as you resize it. So what we want is we want preserve scale on resize and then we'll just kind of size this so that everything shows up and then we can just kind of move this down so you can see how right now our wall line weight really isn't showing up very well so a few things about this viewport when you first bring it in so the way this is going to work is we're going to take one viewport the one that shows our walls and we're going to stack the window one on top of that so the first thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to create a layer for this viewport you don't have to do this but I like it because it lets you turn things on and off so I'm just going to come down to layers and I'm going to go ahead and name this um, walls and what you may end up having to do um, as you get more pages in here is you'll probably have to uh, work on your naming conventions in here um, this is so small that it probably doesn't matter it's pretty easy to manage but what I want to do is I want to create this viewport and I want to put it on the walls layer and I'm just gonna right click on it and I'm gonna click move to layer I'm gonna click walls and so what that'll let me do is that'll let me turn that viewport on and off really easily which gets a little more important in a second so the first thing you might notice when you bring this in is your line weights aren't really showing up very well. Um, you set them kind of in SketchUp, but you can see how this is kind of putting them all in as kind of the same thickness. So all we want to do is we just want to adjust this line weight um, to something a little bit thicker. So in this case, um, I'm kind of using that as a multiplier of what shows up in my uh, SketchUp model. So I just move that to one. Well, now you can see that you can see your line weights a whole lot better. And so now what we want to do is we want to click on this viewport, so the one that's got our walls in it, and we just want to come up to edit. We want to click duplicate. And you can see how when we click duplicate, what that does is that creates a second viewport. And so what we want to do is we want to add a second layer for that viewport. And we want to call this one doors and windows. And we want to move this down uh, to kind of the bottom so and then we'll just right click on this we'll click move to layer and we'll say doors to windows so now you can click on this and you can turn on and off your wall layer and your door and window layer and so you can see how right now your door and window model isn't showing the right view so what we want to do is we want to go to SketchUp model in our tray we want to go to view we just want to click this drop down and we want to select this DW light so you can see how when you select this DW light, what it does is it switches your view to that view that was showing your doors and windows. So you can see how they're not quite aligned. So what we're going to do is um, you can hold the shift key to kind of nudge stuff around. And then when you don't hold the shift key, then it moves everything a little bit. The stuff doesn't jump around quite as much. So I'm just holding that shift key and I'm just kind of moving this around manually for right now. And then once I get it close, all I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here, I'm going to click and drag this point so that it aligns with this wall. So you can see how now what I have is I have a floor plan with some thicker line weights on the walls and some thinner line weights on the windows. And if you want this to be even more dramatic, what you can do is first of all, I'm going to turn my door and window layer. Oops, these are backwards. So I'm going to click on this. I'm going to move that to doors and windows. I'm going to take my wall layer and I'm going to move that to walls. So now I'm going to turn my doors and windows off just so I know that I'm selecting the right viewport. And then I'm just going to come in here and I'm just going to turn this to 1.5 in my line weight. 
down below and you can see how that makes this even more pronounced. So now I can turn my doors and windows back on and you can really see the lighter stuff and the darker stuff. And one thing I just noticed is for whatever reason on my uh, doors and windows layer, right now my windows aren't showing up and here's why. Because if you take a look at this on the walls, right now we have our walls layer on top of our doors and windows layer. And so what that means is this is putting that over top of that. So the order that these are in in the layers section affects your visibility. So I'm going to take my walls and I'm going to drag it down so that it's below doors and windows. So once my walls is below my doors and windows, now they show up on this plan appropriately. And one other thing to note real quick is um, if you don't have these set... So like if I go to my doors and windows layer, for example, if I click on that, if I click on that viewport and I check this box for background, what that's going to do is that's not going to allow anything beyond behind it to show up. So you want to make sure this box for background is unchecked so that the stuff that you've stacked allows the stuff behind it to show through. That way you can get this kind of complete image. And then the other thing you can do if you want to is select these two objects and you can make them a group. So you can select your doors and windows and you can make them a group. That way if you move things around, then you're moving everything around and you don't have to come back and constantly realign everything. In the next video, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about creating some wall hatching. So um, make sure you tune in for that. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Did you like this video? I'd just love to know what your thoughts are on uh, this tutorial. Um, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. Please consider visiting the sketchupessentials.com slash support to support the show. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.